Hey, what's up guys? I decided to make a series of videos covering the things that you can do with arrays in C++, like finding the total of the array, finding average, finding minimum and the maximum values of the arrays. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to find the total of the array in C++. So let's, let's start. So the first thing that we're going to do, we need to create an integer called size, and it's going to have a size of the array. Let's assume our array is going to have five elements. The next thing that we're going to do, we're going to create an array. And I'm just going to call it numbers. And I'm going to, I'm going to have five elements in the array. So I'm passing size. And I'm going to initialize my numbers right away. So I'm going to give them like random values. Nine. All right, so I got five numbers. And my goal is to find the total of those numbers. To find the total of the uh, array, we know the size of the array. So the best way will be to use for loop. So we're going to do for int i equals 0. And we know that the size of the array is 5. So we're going to do i is less than size. So this means this loop is going to five loop. This loop is going to go five times. And do i plus plus. So to find the total, let's create another variable to store the total itself. And we're going to initialize it to zero because the total starts from zero. So what do you have to write? You have to do total equals total plus numbers bracket i. What this means is on the first loop, your total is zero and you're adding the very first number because i is 0. So the first time when it loops, it's going to be 0 plus 4. Then when the second time it loops, it's going to be 4 plus 6. Then when it loops again, it's going to be 10 plus 2, then 12 plus 7, and so on until the loop ends. So let's display the total. Let's build and run this. All right, so it says the total is 28. So if we add all those numbers, it's going to give us 28. So in this lesson, we covered the total of the array. On the next one, I'm going to show you how to find the average of the array. Thank you very much for watching.